Hi there, I'm Beth, and welcome back to part three of my customizing chaos. If you're keeping up, you'll have seen me opening and starting to carve the faces of three Blythe dolls. Two of them are genuine Blythes, and one is an AliExpress Blythe. Last week, I finished off the first one, named French Trench. This week, I'll be working on Blue Rabbit. Both of these genuine Blythes will be available for sale at my table at BlytheCon UK in York on October 7th. Just like last week, I'll keep the commentary very minimal simply because I'm working very hard and very fast to get ready for the convention. I want Blue Rabbit to be almost a sister to French Trench, so she will have a very similar dress style, but in a different colour set. I'll use orange, red and yellow primarily, giving her those autumn vibes that I love so much. I'll start with her outfit this time, and we'll finish carving and colouring her face afterwards. I make her a blouse and underskirt to begin with. Here the blouse is finished, with a fine velcro fastening in the back. The underskirt isn't quite done yet, as I was considering combining it with the outer skirt as part of the dress. I'll use a lovely decorative ribbon for the dirndl dress straps, and orange velvet for the bodice. I've drawn out skirt panels onto hand-dyed orange cotton. I also made a lined version of the bodice, but I think it'll be too thick. I was also considering adding a kind of flounce peplum layer too, but it turned out to be too many layers. Yeah, this slightly heavier weight of the orange fabric was too thick for the extra layers, so I made the bodice the same way as I did for French Trench. I applied Fray Check heavily to the edges and left the bodice as a single layer. This time it worked out and I finished off the petticoat too. I love the ribbon straps, tiny buttons and green embroidered leaves around the skirt hem. I'll be adding some embellishments, some hand embroidery and a little apron too. Her outfit is nearly complete. I just need to make her a 
pair of little red boots. I'll make them off camera and now move on to carving her faceplate. I use a variety of hand tools to continue scraping and carving the plastic to give her a unique and pouty new face. Once I'm satisfied, I sand her face with a very, very smooth sandpaper. And once washed and dried, she can be primed with Mr. Super Clear Matte. Here's a quick tip. If you don't plan to change the eyelashes and want to keep them clean while painting the lids, Use masking tape like this to cover them up. I use my pan pastels, soft brushes, and watercolour pencils to colour her face. I use yellow, pink and blue as my first layers of colour to add realism to the face. I'll use different brush sizes for different areas and will spray again with MSC between layers of colour. Once I'm happy with the pastel colouring, I'll use watercolour pencils to draw in the eyebrows. I'm using my Himi gouache paints to add some freckles to her cheeks and nose. Here, I'm using a blue pencil to draw in very faint veins to the face. It's so hard to see on camera, but in person makes her skin looks transparent and so realistic. I add her details to the back plate and draw a cute portrait of her there too. With the gouache paints, I add mushrooms with grass and a little white speckles to her eyelids. After a much needed haircut, I add gloss varnish to her lips and eyelids. I attached a sleep eyes cord and some cute charms to the ends. I attached one of our articulated neck joints, so she's more poseable now. Here are her four sets of eyes. I left in the special brown eye chips that she had originally. These are the little red boots I made for her. I love making these so much, aren't they sweet? 
She also has a special wooden acorn handbag. And here are the rest of her clothes, ready to put her all together. Here she is, my custom Blue Rabbit Blythe. What do you think of her? I know many of you love autumn as much as I do. Don't you think she suits the season well? I want to thank all my special supporters over on Patreon and welcome our newest member, the Barbie Witch. I'll leave you with some detail shots of my lovely autumn girls, and I'd better get started on my final custom Blythe of this series, who will be a little different. Stay tuned to find out more, and thank you all so very much for watching. Please do leave a like and comment if you can, make sure you're subscribed, and take care. I'll see you again very soon. Bye.